Welcome to the Learn American English channel, where you learn naturally, so you can speak naturally. Come with me to the grocery store. This is a video series teaching you all there is to know about going grocery shopping. In another video, we tell you about how grocery stores are organized and some vocabulary words for the things you will find. In this video, we will learn the payment process when we go grocery shopping. Let's start! Once you are done putting items in your shopping cart or shopping basket, it's time to check out. To check out means to pay for your selected items before leaving the store. You will head over to the cashier next. The cashier is the person at the store's checkout counter who scans the barcode on each item which tells you the price and then takes your payment. To scan means to use a machine called a scanner. A scanner is a device used to read the barcode of a product and convert the information into a price. A barcode is a series of lines and numbers printed on product packaging, representing information about the product. This information includes the price, manufacturing date, expiration date, and others. Price is the amount of money needed to purchase an item. While there's a scanner at the checkout to determine this, some grocery stores have additional scanners in aisles, allowing you to see an item's cost before finalizing your purchase. To scan your items, you put the products on the conveyor belt. A conveyor belt is a moving platform or surface at the checkout counter where items are placed to be scanned and moved toward the cashier for payment. Then, the bagger puts all the products inside a shopping bag. A bagger is the person who puts the products inside the bag after the cashier has scanned them. The store provides a shopping bag, which can be plastic or brown paper bags. But you may bring your own reusable shopping bag. A reusable shopping bag is an environmentally friendly bag designed for multiple uses, reducing the need for single-use plastic bags. It helps the environment if you bring your reusable bags into the store with you. Some stores have self-checkout, which is self-service checkouts, these are automated checkout stations where customers can scan and pay for their items themselves without the help of a cashier. Occasionally, grocery stores have sales where products cost less to encourage people to buy them. Special offers refer to a time-limited promotion or discount on a product or service, providing customers with a chance to save money. You may also use coupons to get discounts. A coupon is a voucher or ticket that entitles the shopper to a discount, rebate, or special offer when purchasing a product or service. Grocery stores also offer a rewards card to customers. This is a card or membership program that offers discounts, points, or benefits to loyal customers as a reward for their repeat business. Once all the items have been scanned, the monitor will show the total amount due. This is the final sum of money that you need to pay for all your selected items. Discounts and taxes are included. You may pay by cash or pay by tap. Pay by tap is a payment method where you can make transactions by tapping your credit or debit card on a card reader without the need to insert the card or enter a PIN. PIN refers to your personal identification number, a secret combination of numbers used to verify your identity 
when making a transaction with a debit or credit card. When you pay by debit card, the money will be directly deducted from your bank account. You may also pay by credit card. A credit card is a card issued by a bank that allows you to borrow money to make purchases. You repay the borrowed amount later with interest or within a specified period. Congratulations! You have now successfully paid for your grocery items. But wait! What if you have some issues with past transactions? If this ever happens, you may visit the customer service desk. This is a counter in a store where customers can seek assistance, ask questions, or address any issues with their shopping experience. You may seek help with a refund. A refund is when you want to return a product and get your money back due to problems with the product. You may also address other complaints that you have about the products. Now, it's time to head home. Let's walk to the parking lot together. The parking lot is a designated area or space where vehicles can be parked, usually just outside the store. And there you have it. I hope this has been helpful for when you go to the grocery store. But this isn't all there is to learn about shopping at the grocery store. We have another video talking about all the products found at the grocery store. We hope you'll check out the other video too. Let's watch this video again so we can learn the payment process even better. Thank you for watching the Learn American English channel, where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. Please click the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one.